Good morning, everyone. It is Friday, March 22nd. I'm Janine Kohler. Today, we will be continuing the Friday trend of getting ready for what comes after high school, seeing as though there are only a few months left. I personally am preparing for the SATs, and I know seniors are beginning to commit to colleges. We have an ESM graduate and a Morning Show alum here today to tell us more about the importance of these last few months of school from the perspective of someone who has already graduated. We also have some information on what other students are planning on doing after high school, but first, breaking news with Dana. A part of the malicious code that caused computer network outages at banks and major broadcasters in South Korea has been traced to a Chinese IP address. The, outrage, the outage occurred around 2.20 p.m. Wednesday, with skulls reportedly appearing on some computer screens, sending South Korean stocks into a nosedive. The KCC has continued to investigate the cyber attack and has not ruled out the possibility of North Korean involvement. 98 people were arrested in a protest outside the Cosmopolitan Resort that nearly shut down the entire Las Vegas Strip. More than 2,000 culinary workers stood on the Strip, blocking traffic and ch chanting to protest that there has not been a union contract at the resort in two years. A spokeswoman for Cosmopolitan said that the resort is in ongoing negotiations, but it looks like what happens in Vegas isn't staying in Vegas this time. Please stand for your Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. There will be a senior class fundraiser at both Trappers 1 and 2 on March 28th from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. Now, some things that we interviewed students on this week are what they are doing after high school. Now, here's your weather with Tim. Thank you, Tim. There's a low pressure system over Canada, giving central New York some unseasonably cold air. Snow showers will occur later today and into tomorrow morning, giving in Syracuse up to above one to three inches of new snow. Today, we have a high of 33 degrees Fahrenheit. And as we go into the weekend, expect temperatures to be in uh, higher 30s. Tomorrow, there's going to be um, some light flurries, but Sunday looks like it's going to be a clear Sunday day. I'm Tim Ranger, and that's been your WESM 15 weather report. Thank you, Tim. I'm now joined by Jake Field, a former member of The Morning Show and an ESM graduate. Thank you for being here this morning, Jake. Thank you for having me. I'm glad to be back. Of course. Now, with the last few months of school coming up, what advice do you have for the seniors who will be graduating this year? Well, my advice to the seniors is to just stay focused and, like, work hard, because I didn't do that as much as I should have, and I'm not glad about that now. What about getting involved in extracurricular activities? Uh, getting involved in outside, like getting involved outside of your classes is important because the only thing I did was the morning show. And that's, I wish I could have done more. <laughs> yeah. And lastly, Jake, what would you do differently if you had the opportunity to come back and do things differently your senior year? I would try to definitely be more like involved with the school and not to get the senioritis as bad as I did. And make sure you take advantage of everything that the school has to offer. Yes. Well, thank you so much for coming back and joining us on the morning show this morning, Jake. No problem, Jean. And uh, I'm sure you've heard of Syracuse University's huge win last night in the tournament. I can't, I can't even <laughs> pretend to know anything <laughs> about any of that, but yeah. sports can. So. Definitely. Matt, can you tell us a little bit more about the big wins and losses that came yesterday in the NCAA tournament? Well, with an 81-34 to 34 victory last night, the Orange will advance the round of 32. Brandon Trish had 20 points and 5 steals. From the Pac-12, 12 seeded California defeated UNLV last night 64-61. Ellen Crabb led the Bears with 19 points and 9 rebounds. The Orange will take on California tomorrow night at 940. 
For the first time in school history, Harvard has won an NCAA tournament game. They upset number three seeded New Mexico 68 to 62. Wesley Saunders contributed 18 points for the Crimson. I'm Matt Young, and this has been your WSM 15 Sports Report. Thank you, Matt, and thank you again to Jake for joining us this morning. This is the last Friday show before spring break, so I hope everyone has a safe break. Have a great day.